Hello my YouTube friends! I got a good one today. I want to show you how to capture your PC games so that you can live stream them or record them in OBS. Now I'm going to show you a couple of different ways and you're going to see the flaws of each way. I'm also not going to leave you hanging with audio. I'll show you exactly how to set up OBS to capture your game audio as well. We've got a lot to get to so you know what? Let's get to it! The way I'm going to show you today is going to make your live streams really easy to manage and understand. When you're first starting out, that is important because the goal is to be able to focus on entertaining the audience and not on your streaming tools. Here we are in OBS and we have a scene called Scene. And we're going to make this our game scene so we can just rename it by right clicking and going to rename and we'll call it game. And there are a few different ways that you can add games to your live stream. I'm going to show you the couple that I would use. So let's go ahead and click the plus. And the first thing we're going to do is go to game capture right here. We'll just click OK. And it will capture any full screen application. And that's really all you need to do. You don't need to mess around with any of this. Click OK, and as the game is noticed, it will pick it up, and there we go. So it takes a couple seconds, game comes up. I have it on a smaller monitor, which is why it wasn't full screen. So if you need to, you can just stretch it out, and I would definitely stretch it all the way out, make sure it covers the full screen. And now we have our game captured. We want to make sure we capture our audio as well, so what I'm going to do is click the plus, and we're going to go to our application audio capture and we'll just call this game audio click OK and all we have to do is drop this down and select the game and there we go and now we have our game audio when we select the game you can see the mouse moving around and it is playing game audio now we may want to have our audio in here as well and we can do that one of two ways you have to decide whether you want your camera in your scene or whether you just want audio. So my thought is that you should always do a live stream with a camera, but just in case you decide you don't want to, let's go ahead and add another audio input capture and we'll just call this mic, click OK, and we'll drop this down and select our microphone, which is this one right here, and then we can just click OK. And now we can see my microphone talking. And when we flip over to the game, we can see the game audio is working as well. Now I work really hard to create content that I think you're gonna enjoy. Sometimes I hit and sometimes I miss, but honestly, sometimes it's hard to know for sure. And that's where you can really help me out. If you're enjoying this video, take a second and give it a thumbs up. And if it's maybe not your cup of tea, give it a thumbs down. It's all good. If everyone watching this right now does that, it literally tells me what direction to take my channel content in the future. And I really do appreciate it. So thanks. So if we wanted to add a camera in here, let's go ahead and do that. Now I recommend that you use nested scenes to add your cameras. So what I'm going to do is click the plus over here to create a new scene. I'm going to call this NS-CAM. NS stands for nested scene and then what I'm going to do is click the plus and I'm going to go to my video capture device and we'll call this cam and click OK and there we go that picks it up and you can see I'm recording this so my microphone's in the shot and everything else what we're going to do is go down here we're going to select use custom audio device and we're going to select the microphone that we want to use in this case that is the one right there so now we have a camera and what I would do since you're playing games for live streaming you probably have an Nvidia graphics card so what I would probably do is go ahead and right click on this right here and I would duplicate it and this creates a NS cam and what I would do is rename this and I'm just gonna call this back and what I'm going to do here is go ahead and remove that. And I'm going to use a plugin that's called the Source Clone. There's a link in the description if you want to check it out. I'm going to call this cam back. And I'm going to grab the source. 
which in this case we want to clone our camera we want to use the audio from our camera so there we go we click OK and now what I'm going to do is go into filters and I'm going to use a plugin and the plugin for this is something you can download I have a video for it that I'll link at the end of the video but we're going to do our NVIDIA background removal right there and click close so now our background is removed I realize I'm not in focus would normally be sitting much farther back like this but since I'm actually working with you guys I'm sitting closer so that's why it's blurry so now we have our game and you can see our game disappeared because it's not selected it will take a moment or so for it to be selected and there it appears again and I'm gonna go ahead and remove our mic and instead I'm gonna go ahead and click the plus and I'm gonna add a scene and our scene we're gonna add is the NS cam back right there and we could shrink this up and put our camera wherever we want and of course we could create borders and all that sort of stuff we can do whatever we like now we've got a game scene with our camera in it it's all set up and ready to go what would we do with this other camera well let's go ahead and do adjust talking and boom and all we have to do for that just to make the most simple of just talking is go into our scenes and NS cam and boom and there we go so now we've got a just talking scene and what I can do is go ahead and crop this up a little bit to keep the microphone out of the shot and there we go so now we've got our game scene ready to go and that keeps disappearing I can show you another way to set that up so it doesn't disappear and we can switch back and forth to just talking or our game scene so what if we don't want this to disappear that's something that happens with game capture and so let's remove our game capture here and you're gonna notice when we remove the game capture our game audio stays here so if I select the game you can see our game audio comes to life what I'm gonna do is go and select the plus button and I'm going to go to display capture and I'm just going to capture the display and I'm going to call this game uh, game cap and I'm just going to select the monitor that I'm running the game on click OK and then move it down like this and I'm going to move it below my camera and there we go so now we have that and if we go back to just talking and back you can see that we don't lose the visual of the game that you lose when you use game capture and I personally like that so all we have to do when we start playing is select the game the audio comes on we're ready to go and that is the most simple and basic way to add any game on the PC to your OBS live stream with a little bit of additional flair of course because we've added some cameras and all that good stuff but it doesn't get any easier than that. Pretty easy stuff. Is there something in OBS that you need help with? Let me know down below in the comments and I'll try to put a video together. Now the plugins I use in this video have links down below so you can check them out for yourself as well. And if you wanna see how to set up the NVIDIA Virtual Green Screen plugin, check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.